Well, hi everyone, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai channel. Well, you might remember if you have subscribed to this channel that a few days ago I posted a few short videos where I showed you that I'd purchased some pots, some brand new pots from a local potter uh, called Mohammed. He's actually called Mohammed Hamid, so he, most people know him just as Mo for short. And he's a brilliant potter. He does a whole range of different uh, items from mugs to cups to plates to decorative bowls and a whole manner of other things. Well, it, outside of his door, he has a little bargain bin where he had some fantastic little pots. Uh, he doesn't make bonsai pots, but looking at them, I thought, put a hole in the bottom and they could make the perfect bonsai pot. So in this video, we're going to attempt to drill holes in the bottom of these pots and make some budget bonsai pots. Stick around and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So before you attempt to drill holes in clay pots, it's always a good idea to soak the pots in water for at least two hours, possibly anything up to 24 hours. So I've had these soaking in a bucket of water for I think it's been about five, six hours now, so these should be perfect. And if I just take one of these out, we can see that these are really, well, they're nice and wet. Oh, there's the label on the bottom, so it's Mohammed Hamid. And if you do ever come down to the town of Lewis near the south coast of England, he's located at the Star or Star Pottery on Fisher Street. And his website's there, hamid-pottery.co.uk. Worth a look. I will put a link to his, his website in the description below. I'm not sure if he delivers, um, but that might be something you can work out with him. But really nice guy, makes some fantastic parts. So and you can see with this one, has beautiful glaze on it. And just looking at it, I thought I'd make a fantastic bonsai pot. So that's the first one that we have. Uh, then if we take a look at this one, this was a slightly smaller one. Uh, you can see that these are all in these sale bins. This is just three pounds. I think originally it was like 15, 15, 20 quid. So to get this for three was brilliant. Really nice little pot, that one. Put a hole in the bottom of that, that'd be fantastic. Uh, then in the bucket here, this one, again, very nice glaze, very similar to the other one. Very nice, nice pot. I think originally he made these to be uh, pet bowls, you know, like dog bowls and uh, that. But, you know, for bonsai pot, it'd be fantastic. Yeah, very nice pot, that one. And then this one down here, this was the last one that I picked up. This uh, still has the price tag on it. You can see here, £42.90 was the original price of this pot. And I picked up for only nine quid. It was absolutely brilliant. And there's these little sticker on there. But yeah, lovely color on that one. Very nice yellow golden uh, glaze on that, fantastic. Might have to put two holes in this one, but we'll see how we go. So before you attempt any drilling, okay, chest, you can't play now. I'm doing a YouTube video. Let down you go, little fella. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> no, I can't play now. No, no, down you go. That's a good boy. All right. All right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, so before you attempt to drill a hole in the bottom of a pot, it's always the best idea to try to work out where the center is because I know it, it could be easy to say you could just eyeball it and hope for the best, but you know, if you get one of these drill bits, you, you make a hole and then once the hole's in there, you look at it and it's off center, it's always going to look funny and it's always going to be, you know, a reminder that you should have brought out a ruler and worked out where the center was. So to do this, it's as easy as with, with a round pot like this, is uh, you just work out what the diameter is. Uh, in this case, it's seven centimeters. So you find the widest point and just mark a line, go the other way. Widest point is about there, and, that's a, and then X marks the spot, that is where your center line is.
Right, so when it comes to this one, this one is quite wide. Uh, we just take the sticker off there. Uh, just been soaking in the water, so it should come off nice and easy, he says. <laughs> there we go, and that's gone. Right, so th th this part is a fair bit wider than the other one, so I think for this, I'm going to have to make two holes. And this is going to be a little bit trickier because we can't just draw a couple of lines. So what I'm going to try to do is find the, the widest point, which in this case is 21. Uh, we can draw a line all the way across, and then we can use a, a, a ruler just to work out, because I'm planning to put a hole here and a hole here, so we just uh, mark that there. We can mark this at 18, I just go a little bit further in, uh, say 19, just there, mark it there, and then on this side do exactly the same, mark out 19, which is just in here. Like so, square that up and mark that like that. Like that. So a, a hole will be here and a hole will be here. Right, so before you attempt any kind of drilling, it's always best to have a, a firm surface. So for this, I'm just going to use this gripper mat that people use for shelves and things like that. This is going to work perfectly. And this will just stop the pot from moving around whilst we're drilling it. It's also important that you have eye protection and for this I'm just going to use these sunglasses. It's a really sunny day today so this is going to serve two purposes and we'll just pop them on like that to protect the eyes from any, any dust. So I think before I start any drilling I might start with the smaller one first only because this was the cheapest one and if anything does go wrong it doesn't matter. I mean I don't want these pots to break but I'd rather if it is going to happen it happens to this one than the other two. So I think we'll start with this one and then work our way up. So just put these to the side for the minute. Let's bring out the drill bits. Right, so for drill bits, the best the best type of bit to use would be these these uh, diamond tipped uh, drill hole makers. I'm not sure what the technical name is, but it, I bought these on eBay. You have a pack of there must be I think there's a pack of sixteen in all all different sizes. So of that size, we have. Uh, a smaller size, that is 22 mil, that one. Uh, there's even smaller, there's that one, which is 16 mil. And then, of course, there are larger ones, like this one, which is uh, 40 mil. So I think for this part, we're going to need, that's probably going to be too big. That one is 35 mil. So we're going to need one size down from that, which I think will be this one, which is 28 mil and that would be perfect for that pot. Right, so then the next thing is attaching the bit to your drill, so it's just like attaching any other. Now the drill bit, you just turn the chuck, get the chuck key, which is down here. I have this attached to a piece of string, just so I don't lose it, and then just tighten that up, make sure it's nice and firm, and you should be good to go. So when drilling a hole it, with one of these uh, diamond tip bits, you don't want to go like you would with a conventional drill bit and go straight down. You want to take this gently, you want to go at a 45 degree angle and then once the bit starts biting in then you gradually want to turn it in and come in at 90 degrees and then go straight down and you should achieve your hole. Well at least that's the plan and that's what they say so let's give that a go. So if we start at a 45 degree angle and this is going to be the tricky bit because it's going to take a little while to get the bite. So just make it gentle. Yeah, see this is a little bit awkward, but once you get the bite, it should be a little bit easier. Just turn that like so. This isn't as easy as what they make it look. 
But we do have a bite in there, so we should carry on. Yeah, so you can see I've slightly gone off my, my centre mark. It's, uh, it's a bit of a job to get the first bite, but once you, once you do and you get going, it, it is, does become a little bit easier. I think it is beginning to get a bit hot, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit of water on this just to try to get rid of some of that dust. So we just pour some water on. There you go. So all what I said about trying to get your hole cent centred and there you go, I've gone and messed that up, but let's carry on going. Well, we're getting there, a little bit more water on it. Like that, and off we go again. Hey, and we're through. Right, so we have our hole. It's a little bit larger than what I thought. So this is a, uh, Something to remember for the other ones, but no, that's that's perfect. Um, we'll provide plenty of drainage, that's for sure. And this is the little bit that came out. Uh, not absolutely central. Um, you know, all what I said earlier about having off-centered holes. You know, this this is just a trial run. I've never done this before, so I thought I'd give it a go with a small pot first, and then that will give us, uh, you know, a good ideas to what to do with these other ones. But no, for a starter pot, I'll just take that price tag off. Yeah, for a trial one, that's not too bad. But let's move on to the other ones. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, because it's such a hot day today and these are drying out, what I'm gonna do is just put these into this bucket of water I have just down here, and they can soak that up. Uh, let's do the same for this one. Put that just in the bucket of water just down there. And let's crack on with this one. So I think I'm gonna use the same size bit because the hole always is a fair bit bigger than the than the drill bit. And I have a water and can just on standby just here that we can keep pouring on just to keep it nice and moist, to keep it cool and also act as a, a lubricant. Right now my thinking is that these larger pots should be a little bit easier to do because they have a bit more weight to them. The other pot was quite light and it was spinning around. So let's attempt to do this one. Right, so once again, 45 degree angle, and off we go. Well, my theory about the weight holding it down isn't the case. <laughs> moving all over the place. All right. This is the hardest bit, getting the bite. Once you get the bite, you're... Be good. Let's try something a little bit different. Can I flip this over? Maybe the other side will grip a bit better. Just wondering where I've started that mark. Is that? Yeah, should work. I think it's 
spitting in now, so let's pour some water on, keep it nice and cool. I'm thinking my cross was a bit off, so I've moved it this way. At least that's what I'm convinced myself. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> let's go again. Oh, hang on, let's start again. We're nearly through, but let's add a little bit more water. Just like that. And we're through. I'll just pour a bit of water on that just to keep that nice and cool. There you go, cool it down. Oh, that's good going. I was worried, you know, when drilling a hole in these parts that I might damage the glaze inside, but that's pretty good. It's a little bit of chipping just there, but that's not bad. Again, it wasn't quite central. It's, it has moved over to the edge a little bit, but, you know, considering this is going to be on the underside and you're going to put your, you know, your screen in there and your soil, nobody will notice. It'll be absolutely fine. But for second attempt, that's not too bad. Right, let's move on to the other parts. So that's quite a thick plug that came out of that one. That must be about a quarter of an inch. So no wonder that took so long. But again, that's a, not a bad cut. You can see a little bit of chipping just around here, but otherwise, not too bad. As far as being central, it's slightly to this side, but that's not bad. The drainage screen over that, fill that with soil. Fantastic. Right, now let's move on to the last one. I don't want to complain about the summer, but it is a boiling hot day today. So to be doing this kind of work is whew, it's hard going. All right, so here's the last part and the biggest one. So this is gonna need two holes. All right, let's get the drill and let's get drilling.
So there we have it. The holes are now in the bottom of the pots. I don't think that went too badly. It's a, a learning you know, process. Uh, this hole, I think, was it's a little bit too big for that pot, but it should be fine. We just have to put a bigger bit of drainage screen in the bottom of that, but that'll be absolutely fine. As for the other ones, I thought they went pretty well. You can see the, the glaze hasn't chipped too much on the inside on some of these. Uh, this one, perhaps it chipped just a, a little bit more than I would have liked, but you know, considering it's on the inside of a pot, I don't think it would it would hurt that much. You know, it's just aesthetically, you know, if you were going to sell these pots, you'd probably want a neater job, but these are just for my use and putting on these trees. Oh, hang on. I think the postman's just arrived. And look what we've just received. So let's just uh, clean my hands a little bit. I don't want to get this, this dirty. Let's uh, move some of these. Just uh, let's move them this way so you can see. Put that one there and let's just put that one just in there. Right, so this is from a certain Mr. Jason Hanrahan. So let's see what he sent me. we we'll just go in here and open this up. So he sent me a book. And here we go. So this is Hayuku, Hayuku, I think you said Hayuku, Hayuku Dreams by Jason Hammerhan. And if we just open it up, we can see he's sent me a letter. Let's uh, see what he said in this letter. So, uh, Gavin, I hope you get as much pleasure from reading this as I did writing it. Well, thanks a lot, Jason. I'm sure I will. And I believe he's also autographed this too. So let's uh, just have a look inside. Oh, there, there you go. Fantastic. Gavin, may you find reason to be thankful every day, Jason Hanrahan, signed, signed on the 29th of August, 2023. Oh, thank you so much, Jason. I really do appreciate this. It's, um, from what I've read online, it's, uh, you, you know, there's some brilliant reviews of this book. And uh, from what you've told me, it's, it's, it's really going to make a good read. I'm quite new to Hayuku. I think I say said Hayuku. So, you know, it's, it's quite a new thing for me, but yeah, I'm, I'm really going to enjoy this read up or this book and it should be a good read. Well, thank you so much, Jason. I really do appreciate that. Uh, I will put a link to the book. It, um, Jason's selling it on Amazon. So I will put a link to that in the description below. Uh, so if you are interested in getting a copy yourself, that's the place to get it. But yeah, thanks, Jason. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. So that's excellent. What a nice surprise to get to receive in the post. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's all for today, guys. Um, just wanted to show you in this video how I go about drilling holes in the bottom of these pots. Uh, as I say, I picked these up from a local potter called Mo. I'll, I'll put a link to his, his website in the description below. And uh, yeah, even though these weren't intended to be bonsai pots, I'm sure come next uh, springtime next year, um, add a bit of drainage screen in there and I'll, I'll find a tree you know, appropriate for each of these pots. I'm even thinking, and this is just really off the cusp, I guess, it's, uh, um, there's no certainty in this, but I'm thinking about putting this tree into this pot. Let me know what you think about that idea. It's just quite a garish colour, but I thought it might go with the leaves, leaf colour of this tree. But that's for next spring. That's a, de that's a decision that we'll make then. But as for today, I think we'll wrap this video up, call that a day, and as always guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one.